Hello, I'm Dr. Alice Slim, and I'm here to introduce the article titled Profile of Peritabravir, Ritonavir, Ombudasvir, plus Tisabavir in the Treatment of Chronic Hepatitis C Virus Genotype 1 Infection, written by me and my colleague, Dr. Michael Smith. Over the last several years, the landscape of hepatitis C management has transformed with the advent of new direct-acting antiviral regimens. One such regimen is Peritabravir boosted by Ritonavir, Ombudasvir, plus Tisabavir, or PROD. The brand name is Vicura Pack. In this paper, we discuss the pharmacology, safety, drug interactions, and viral drug resistance with PROD therapy. We also discuss the results of phase three clinical trials, specifically in genotype one infected patients. All trials demonstrated high rates of sustained virologic response in treatment naive patients, patients who previously failed PEG interferon and ribavirin dual therapy, and in patients with or without compensated cirrhosis. These results were pivotal in determining the most recent treatment guidelines and also demonstrate that the duration of treatment and the need to add ribavirin depends on genotype subtype, presence of cirrhosis, and treatment history. We also explore trials that focus on special populations and summarize promising results for HIV co-infected patients, post-transplant recipients, and patients with renal insufficiency. In terms of safety, PROD is relatively well tolerated, with the most common effects being nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, pruritus, insomnia, dry skin, and anemia. More side effects are seen when ribavirin is added to PROD therapy. Drug-drug interactions are also an important factor to consider when using PROD, as several drugs in this combination depend on the same metabolism pathways as other commonly used drugs. This review provides an overview of currently available information on these interactions. Overall, this review finds that PROD with or without ribavirin is safe and efficacious in the treatment of genotype 1 infection. However, we have yet to learn answers for some remaining questions, like whether or not PROD can be used in patients who fail therapies other than PEG interferon and ribavirin, and how it stacks up to the other current first-line therapies, such as lidipasvir, semeprevir, and decladosphere containing regimens. Additionally, while we know that resistant variants are implicated in cases of PROD treatment failure, it's still uncertain whether or not baseline resistance testing is useful or how resistance will impact retreatment in the future. Thank you for your interest, and we hope you enjoy the paper.